then tomorrow on the 23rd, I'm going to walk you through Mythic Gear, how to get it, how good it is. Let's get into it. All right, guys, energy has been added to the Korea server. I have some screenshots here. I did some math. I also waited to find out how much we were getting. So if we take a look over here, uh, let me see, adjust this. You will see that in the top right, when you challenge the curios or anything, uh, the translation was a little off. So it said 10 per uh, number. So it sounded like per three, it would be the 10 uh, energy, but it's 10 per run period, the end. Uh, you'll see, you also have a cap as we talked about yesterday. Uh, this, this cap goes up as you increase an account level up to account level 55, which will cap out at 300. Then when we look over here, this is the uh, saddening part about it. And it's brand new and they've shown that they're willing to change things in the past. And this is a plea to get them to change this. Now, uh, I did recharge several times to see what the cost was each time. And then you'll actually see uh, seven minutes for one energy. I was, I was at one energy and then I waited the countdown to find out how much energy you get per recharge. So you get one energy per seven minutes. And you'll see, uh, I actually like this feature that it tells you how long until it maxes out, but look, a day and two hours, which equals to my math because uh, the seven minutes for a 24 hour period is 205, like 0.7 energy per day. But then it, uh, when we look over, I'll talk about the recharges and stuff in just a second. But when we uh, come over here, uh, the summoners pass and uh, your daily login. Once you do all that stuff, it's an extra 35 energy. So you're looking at 240 energy per day, which if you are doing uh, whichever curio or path of growth you want, that's 24 runs a day, uh, period, the end. Uh, unless you recharge for crystals, which we'll go over in a minute. But if you do uh, repeat quests, that actually converts pretty nicely, right? Because it's 240 and then 8 per repeat, repeat quest. So that ha actually is a pretty good uh, value. But then you're not getting runes, then you're not getting... Uh, the curio stuff, a lot of the bigger spenders already have plenty of curio stuff, so they're going to be skipping it for a long, long time. But uh, for newer players or mid-game players, they're still going to want some curio stuff. So this is going to put people in kind of a crunch. But uh, the, real quick, I wanted to touch on this. You get the daily uh, bonus entry ticket. This ticket can be used on either or curio or uh, path of growth and the bonus entry ticket uh, you get one per day for having the battle pass uh, I also found this really funny that which was mentioned nowhere and I tested it uh, to make sure and the uh, per per account level uh, daily limited uh, mining and gathering still exists I checked on my um, uh, account level like 20 alt on there and it has 250 max daily gathering and mining auto now instead of doubling it uh it's unlimited <laughs> tell me how you feel about that down below how that's going to mess with the economy now let's get into uh this one uh actually talk about these numbers here so Caps out at 300, you get one per seven minutes, so 205. You get the extra 35 for doing your dailies, so you have 240. Now, if you want an extra 60, it'll cost 100 right there the first time. But I have the numbers right here. Uh, move this over. You'll see plus 60 per recharge 
It cost 100 crystals, then 200 crystals, then 250 crystals, and I put it there twice for 300, but I tried it four times, and they were all 300. So it seems like uh, you get the first one, two, three for cheap, and then everything else is 300 as many times as you would like. So that's kind of crazy. Uh, it was pretty interesting because uh, even as a spender, uh, if you wanted to do curios and path of growth, you were limited uh, for how many you wanted to do. Obviously, you can uh, buy packs that have tickets, um, things like that. But as far as actual runs, you were semi-limited. You could do a little bit extra with rupee quests and stuff. But the entire landscape of the game is wildly going to change. Uh, I will keep you all updated on what's going on in Korea as far as this. Like what people consider uh, the most cost effective. Right now I'm going to assume runes until people are good on that. But that's uh, as a free to play that's 24 uh, runs per day. Uh, if you do a recharge for every recharge you can get extra six runs uh you can maybe do two uh extra recharges a day um as a free to play or low spender for an extra 12 runs uh which uh as far as cost the original path of growth was 50 for three so i actually think the recharge value is there but um I don't know guys, let me know what you guys think about energy down below and what you think could turn this around. Till next time guys.